so the first question is this mark the odd one out okay so options are copper iron iodine and tin i hope this is visible to you so the candidate already marked one answer so let me see if he is right or you are right or not okay so copper is a metal iron is a metal a tin is a metal but iodine is a non metal okay so that's why odd one is iodine so the correct answer will be iodine i hope your answer is also same as you can see this was asked previous year so i hope you will give importance okay so let's go to the next question so the next question is this regarding missing number okay so 4 8 10 14 16 20 so these are the options so what will be the next after 20 4 8 10 14 16 20 after that question mark so what will be replaced uh, what will replace the question mark 16 20 21 or 22 what will be the correct answer so let's see so 4 8 10 then 14 then 16 then 20 okay so 4 to 8 sorry in this case actually 4 to 10 8 to 4 10 to 16 14 to 20 this way the loop is going okay so 4 to 6 the difference is 6 8 to 14 that is 6 14 to 20 this is also 6 so 16 to the next part will be 16 plus 6 so the correct answer will be 22 okay i hope you understood actually in missing number there are certain type of problem can be asked okay so if you don't know then please watch the first video of my channel like regarding missing number that will make you understood what are the types of problem being asked in missing number okay so let's go to the next question so the next question is regarding synonym okay so the question is uh, what is the synonym word for grim g r i m what is the synonym for grim uh, this is pleasant pleasant or grumble or orderly or honest what will be the correct answer i hope this is visible to you if not visible then i am reading for you that is pleasant grumble orderly and honest what will be the correct answer for grim synonym so i hope you will give the answer this is a quick question for you so please give the answer so that i can be motivated and i can upload more videos by seeing your responses okay so let's go to the next question so the next question is regarding sorry actually this was repeated so the next question is regarding odd one out again okay so in this case what will be the odd one so fork is used for eating knife is it used for eating purpose also spoon is also used for eating purpose but sword is something which is used for uh war okay not for not for waiting okay so that's why the correct answer will be sword this is the odd one among the options okay so let's go to the next question before i proceed to the next question i would recommend you to have the prime materials of accenture in which i have included all the recent questions with answers all the previous year all the mock tests so to get that knock me at quest id instagram.com slash techno.ef i will try to assist you this is paid but very affordable okay so let's go to the next question so the next question is regarding uh coding decoding okay so if in a certain coding language road is written as urdu then how urdu how is urdu written in that code okay so let's go to the solution so roar is roar is coded as urdu u r d u okay so what's the pattern this is following we have to just see this okay so r is 18 okay r is 18 right to vote okay and u is 21 under 21 u is 21 so p there plus 3 okay and here also r u so plus 3 and o r okay r is 18 and o is 15 okay so here also 15 plus 3 that is 18 okay a is 1 and d is 4 so here also plus 3 so this way the pattern is following plus 3 okay so urdu will be coded as like plus 3 okay so plus 3 plus 3 so u plus 3 that is u under 21 so 24 is x okay and r is 18 
so 18 plus 3 that is 21 that is u and d is 4 so 7 is g7 so g and again u so u will be plus x plus 3 so that will be x u is under 21 under 21 that means 21 plus 3 is 24 so x is 24 so that's why x u g x will be the correct answer so the correct answer will be option b so i hope you understood as you have been watching that this is the previous year questions so this will be very much important for you so please don't ignore okay and please suggest your friends so that they can also watch these videos and crack the accent chart together okay so in this question you have to you have to arrange the words in a meaningful sequence okay so word paragraph sentence letter phrase these are the numbering you have to arrange the numbers in a meaningful word meaningful sentence okay so a b c d e f g all individuals are letters okay so all individuals are letters so at first letters will come then after letters after letters by some letters a meaningful unit is called word okay after the letters uh, uh, with some letters some meaningful unit is called word so one will be placed here then after one uh, like after word some meaningful words being united then phrase are formed so five after uh, using some phrase we can make a sentence so that is three and using some sentences we can create a paragraph so four one five three two will be the correct answer four one five three two four one five three two so option d will be sorry option last d will be the correct answer okay so i hope you understood okay so let's go to the next question so the next question is this arrange the words uh in a given below in a meaningful sequence so this is the same question actually repeated okay so the next question is this regarding error correction okay so in exam there will there must be some questions regarding error correction okay so what will be the most suitable uh suitable replacement for this i am i am not been spoken to her for two weeks this is not properly visible i know but i am telling you what is written here that is i am not been spoken for to her for two weeks i am not been spoken to her for two weeks so where is the fault where is the error in this case actually this is for two weeks for two weeks means this is a uh, quite like a uh, present perfect continuous tense and in present perfect continuous tense the formation is subject plus has or have then been then uh, plus verb plus ing then object okay so in this case i have not been i have not been speaking too hard for two weeks this will be the correct answer okay so i hope you understood okay let's go to the next question so as you can see tense is also important okay so don't ignore anything so the next question is regarding missing number okay what will come at the place of this question mark so as you can see i hope this is visible to you five six nine zero five one two one four five five two three nine eight three three four one four two eight four five what will be the next number so let's go to the solutions so between them what's the difference that is uh five six nine okay so this is the difference between them and them also the difference is five six nine and in this case also in this case also in this case also okay so as you can see let let me just show you three four one four and two eight four five okay so nine and uh, five six and five okay so this way i mean all the differences are five six nine okay so the next term will be plus five six nine sorry minus five six nine okay so differences between them will be minus five six nine so just subtract five six nine bit off from them then we will get the next term so if we subtract five six nine from from two eight four five then we'll get two two seven six okay so the correct answer will be the first option so i hope you understood okay so let's go to the next question so the next question is regarding 
uh, sentence formation okay so form a meaningful sentence by sequencing the parts given below in the right order so great london a city is okay so these are the options you have to arrange them in a meaningful manner okay so you should know the normal formation of a sentence that is at first subject then verb then object okay so in this case uh, subject is london okay so london l that means sorry uh, that means one sorry two london is okay that means is is the b verb so we have to put that b verb after the subject so subject plus verb that is five okay so two five subject plus verb london is then uh, like a article okay a a sorry this is three okay a great city okay so great city this is the object so great will be one and city is four so two five three one four will be the correct answer so that we can make a meaningful sentence so two five three one four will be the correct answer so the correct answer will be option five sorry option d okay so let's go to the next question so the next question is regarding the same so this will be a quick question for you so the options are play want i cricket to this is very basic so please form the sentence uh, by this uh, rule subject plus verb plus object so i hope you will try so give me the answer from this okay so i hope you will give the answer in the comment section and give your explanation also okay so let's go to the next question so the next question is this ram is dash tallest boy in the class so the candidate already is, uh, have marked the answer so the answer will be the okay because this is a superlative degree tallest ram is the tallest boy in the class and this is specifying someone and like this is unique character in the class okay that's why ram is the tallest okay specifying someone specifying something that's why the will be used okay so this is the correct answer for this so i hope this much of discussion is very much helpful to you so if you found this video helpful then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and just let me tell you that we have created our another channel called ubikanna in which we will go we will upload the recent questions of accenture so please subscribe that channel because this channel can have some problems because uh, we are showing the real questions that's why maybe copyright is so uh, copyright is still there okay so i hope you will join our telegram channel for latest updates and discussions of different questions and discussion of real questions okay so please join our telegram channel t.mr.cvkanna and if you want the prime materials of accenture or any company that you want like deloitte uh, capgemini infosys cognizant tech mahindra wipro joho then please let me know in the comment section or you can tag me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.tf or you can just say hi at the telegram channel i will get back to you okay so thank you for today's session